better. Hi, um, I'm Myron Rose Marin. Um, by day, I work for the Mito Corporation on behalf of the IRS, where I'm the search product manager and provide some SEO expertise. And by night, um, I have a business called Rose Marin Search Marketing, which is focused on search engine optimization consulting. Um, today, I'm going to talk about uh, keyword research and. Uh, my goal is to use my five minutes to go through 10 different keyword research tools and uh, suggest 15 different tips that you can use to improve your content programming strategy. So first, quickly, uh, two definitions. The first definition is subject. When I use the word subject, I'm talking about a major topic, such as a condition name or a treatment name. And if I use the word facet, I'm talking about an area of interest relative to a condition name or a treatment name. So for example, a facet for a condition would be symptoms of or causes of, and a facet for a treatment might be dosage or side effects. Okay, so the first tool, and easily my favorite, is Google Autocomplete. And basically how this works is you go to the search engine and you start typing and stuff appears. Uh, and my recommendation would be if you're looking for the most popular facets for a condition name, simply type in the condition name and Google will present the 10 most popular facets for that condition. Likewise, if you want to know the most popular facets for a treatment name, just type in the treatment. Uh, in this case, prednisone, and you can see facets like side effects and dosage show up as some of the recommended facets. Um, Uber suggests the next tool, and this is as they describe, uh, this is Google Autocomplete on steroids. Um, same thing, you provide uh, input like um, a condition name or a treatment name and it will spit out a fairly large list of Google Autocomplete suggested topics. So let's just say um, you're interested in getting a very quick list of some of the more popular conditions that people care about. Simply go to Uber Suggest and type in symptoms of and it will spit out this very large list of queries that contain symptoms of it. It ends up being a very large list of condition names. But likewise, um, if you wanted to get a, a large list of popular treatment names, simply work with the facet side effects of, hit enter, and it'll give you this large list of treatment names because of the correlation between side effects as a facet and these treatment names. Um, a very simple tool, if you wanted to get a, a list of relevant search terms for a subject like breast cancer, just do the search, scroll down to the bottom of the search results page and you'll see a list of related search topics. Um, but for a more complete list of search terms that are specific to a category, I recommend this tool. This is Trillion Keyword Discovery. And uh, there you can actually navigate through a taxonomy, which is the Open Directory Projects taxonomy. And if, let's say, you're interested in allergies, you can simply navigate to that category and see a list of the keywords that drove traffic to websites that have been categorized under the topic of allergies. Next tool is Alexa. I don't know if uh, some of you have heard of Alexa. This is a great tool. Um, let's say I want to know what are the trending topics of the CDC.gov. So I simply navigate to CDC.gov, click on search analytics, and if I scroll down the page, I'll see not only their trending topics, but also search terms that are in decline. Further down that page, I just want to see what are the most popular search terms that drive traffic to CDC. There it is on the bottom of the page. Okay, another great tool is Google Trends. Um, what this will tell you is um, sort, of, sort of a cyclical nature of a keyword. So in this case, I typed in the word hay fever, and you can see that every June of every year, hay fever spikes. Um, and likewise, in the winter months, um, nobody's really searching for hay fever. You can also use uh, Google Trends to compare two very related or synonymous, uh, syn synonym forget it, synonyms. <laughs> and um, you know, words like um, what's more popular, colon cancer or colorectal cancer? And as you can see from the chart, colon cancer is about six times more popular than colorectal cancer. Another thing that you can do with Google Trends is you can see regional interest. So I did a search on the word, am I pregnant? And you can see that the southern states have a greater interest in that particular keyword phrase than some of the other states. Um, another great tool from Google, Google Correlate. You type in a word like hay fever, and Google says the words that have the most identical cyclical pattern 
appear. And in this case, the word clarinet um, is the most highly correlated word with the word hay fever. And obviously, you can play with this and spend lots of time doing nothing. Um, let's say you want to know what is the estimated monthly search volume for a keyword. Um, go to Google SK Tool, this stands for Search Keyword Tool, and um, you can simply type in a word. I typed in diabetes, I chose category as health, and um, if you look here, um, it will show you the estimated monthly search volume in the United States, um, and the column to the left of it is global monthly search activity. Um, one of my just go-to tools of all time is SCM Rush. This is the only tool that I've showed you that actually costs money. Um, this costs $70 a month, but it's quite powerful. And basically what I'm showing you here is, how can I see what are the top keywords that drive traffic to, let's say, a, compete, a competitor's website or a website that I care about. I typed in webmd.com and it, it's spitting out a list of the top keywords. And for 70 bucks, what you get is the top 10,000 keywords that drive traffic to a website. Um, this is the last tool. Um, let's say you're interested in a particular topic. Uh, in this case, I'm on the CDC's page for HPV. Um, all I want to know is what are the words that are most commonly used on that page? I simply cut and paste the URL of this page and I type it into um, SEO Books Keyword Density Tool and it gives me a list of the more frequently used words and phrases on that page, how often they appear, what the keyword density is. It's a great tool. And that's it. Thank you very much.